Hey Wood Turners, this video is about Tormex SVD-186, the new and improved version of their SVD-185, their gouge jig. So let's run through the differences. Um, from top down, it's now wider, so you can fit wider jigs in there. Cool. Um, the holding mechanism is improved. It no longer wobbles from side to side. The detent system, um, I'm sure everyone's cursed at their old 185 for being finicky to adjust right. And honestly, I don't know why they never included that in the first place. It's such an obvious feature to have, but detent, great. So switch from, from position to position is as easy as you can imagine. Uh, the <clears throat> guide bar guide bar collar is more narrow. This applies to T3 and T4 orders. Um, Allows it to go further towards one side or the other. I don't know. I have a T7. Um, and the last minor thing I noticed is that they've uh, they've changed the casting material. So the new material, as you can see, is more of a matte finish. Um, neither one is magnetic, so and I don't think they're aluminum. I don't really know what they are. So if anyone has a idea what these two materials are, let us know. Um, but the, the biggest thing that I noticed about this, besides the, well, the color, is that the new one is heavier. This one weighs in at 12 ounces, whereas this one is only 7 ounces. So it's kind of rare to see a new version of a product actually get heavier. Typically, you would expect manufa manufacturers to cheap out as they progress. So good job, Cormac. Um, <clears throat> so what I do like about the new one is it eliminates pretty much all the fuzziness. I'm sure you guys have always struggled with this stupid little brass T-shaped insert in here. When you put in a gouge, you got to make sure, well, A, that it's parallel to the flute, or perpendicular, rather. Get it lined up, shove it in, and you get really good at shoving your thumb against the plastic locking collar, holding it such that it's perpendicular, tightening down, kind of pinching your thumb, and you get it. And if you have really big hands or perhaps arthritis or you're not as dexterous, this would be kind of a difficult operation to do. So this little, this little brass thing, uh, I was getting really sick of it. Also, the, the brass over time is gets pretty chewed up. I mean, I only had this one for about a year, a little over a year, and there's tons of marks on it. Um, on the 186, the locking tab is the same material as the rest. So assuming it'll hold up for a lot longer. Um, and just to give you a closer look, so the, the locking bar rides in rails now along the side, so it's always in place. Very nice job. Um, so that's it. That's the rundown of the two, two new jigs. Um, obviously, it's much easier to use. That's great. But is it worth an extra 100 bucks? So I only have this one because I'm actually ditching all my old Tormex stuff it's on eBay right now, and I just had to buy new stuff. So if I already had the 185, would this be a $100 upgrade? Probably not. Um, it honestly doesn't take that long to change the jig setting with the Allen key. Um, you probably have a little box of Tormex stuff as is, and change from two to four, pull by the top, done. I mean, you get good at it. And, and similarly with holding the, the locking bar in place, you get good at it. So my opinion, unless you're, you're using really, really wide gouges or these two things are just uncompromisable um, issues, I, I wouldn't recommend an upgrade to the 186. But if you're buying new jigs in the market for Tormex stuff, I gotta tell you, this thing's easy to use. Um, just in a couple of tech sharpens that I, I've done with it, it was really nice just uh, changing from one side to the other with the detent. Um, and same with the locking bar. I, I've gotten to, into this like Tormek routine when I use the gouge jig. Um, my hand just kind of had this muscle memory for changing the settings and you know holding the, the slip ring in place with my thumb. And boy, it was nice. I had to do that. It just, it just works. So there you have it. That's my opinions on 186. Um, if you have any questions, post them down below in the comments. And thanks for watching.